So I, I've been trying to be more consistent with um with up uploading my thoughts and my my experiences on this trip, and with with, with Armenia it took you know it took a little bit longer, and um, the the reason for that is it, it was just hard here. It was it was it was hard not in like a way that like it was it was like a heavy experience. It was an emotional experience, but the um, the learning experience is very very difficult, um, and I. You know, I did what I normally do when I try to learn about a place in in the place, which is that you know I, I went on a tour and I talked to people, and I still, you know, after after my tour and uh, yeah, after I'd had some conversations, I still felt like you know what I had gotten from it was 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 very incomplete, you know, and 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 I felt kind of in the dark about everything, and um, I bought a couple short books, of, you know, on, on the topic. I bought them at the memorial. And I read through them, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a few days and I've read through them now and I still, I still just feel the dark about this. Um, and I think one of the big realizations that I had was, was that this is part of the experience. Um, it's part of the experience of this event, but also of events like this, that, that part of what makes them, you know, part of the tragedy is that they are hard to learn about. Um, and that it takes an effort to kind of uh, allow the experience to exist beyond its historical duration uh, in a way that people can learn about it. And like, I, I actually saw a quote in one of the books that I got. It said, um, it said, the denial of the future was sought through the destruction of the present and guaranteed by the liquidation of the past. By the logic of genocide, life having been decimated, death too could be erased and no memory would be preserved. You know, so like it, it was... It, with events like this, then then uh, the aim is to wipe out the people, um, but the completeness of wiping them out is part of ensuring that the, that the like that the the if we can wipe out the present, then we'll wipe out the past and the future as well. You know, if we can if we can get rid of all of these people, then uh, no one will remember them. And their history will be gone, their culture will be gone, and no one will even remember that we did it. And like, you know, there's I, I I'm I'm kind of gathering with with this experience, you know, with learning about these three historical events, that there's gonna be some kind of central feature that pops out in in each one of them. And in in Rwanda, then, you know, I definitely learned about the the um the the brutality in the moment. You know, like it was very, very clear. You know, from uh, from the images and from the stories that I heard, and and the you know, like you know, you, you go to these places and you see just cases of shell, or, you know, cases of skulls. You know, you see coffins that are that are filled to the brim with bones. Um, you know, there it's it, it's very clear the the gruesomeness of, of these events, and I think from Armenia, then what's what's uh, standing out is. Um, is the like the logistical managing of the like the eradication of the memory um and like i didn't realize just like how much is working against people trying to know about this event you know the the, the I mean, one of the big things that i was ignorant about uh when i came here yeah you know, i came here thinking that like okay the armenian genocide go to armenia or it happened in armenia go to armenia to learn about it and like the 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 event did not happen in Armenia. Um, the Armenian genocide happened in Turkey, or in what is now Turkey. It happened in what is referred to in, you know, by Armenians and, and you know, in, in, in history as in, as Western Armenia. Um, and Western Armenia is in Turkey. Um, the way it worked, it was kind of, uh, like, I mean, it, it, it brings to mind uh, the situation with the Korea that, that um, the Russian Empire took the eastern part of uh, of historical Armenia, and then the Turks took the western part of of uh, of um, of like what was known as like Greater Armenia. And um, the 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 Russians were Christian, and during the this period of genocide, then the Armenians who were in Russia were safe. And it, I, it seems like it might have taken some time for them even to know what was going on in, in, in Western Armenia and Turkey. 
but like that was the first thing that like I realized that like I, I got here and I was like okay this is where the and yeah and and this was not where it happened, um, you know so the the um you know the first barrier was was that the the place where it happened is, you know the history there is erased, and the Armenians there are completely gone pretty much you know the I was looking at the Wikipedia article. Um, and it said, uh, Armenians in Turkey, one of the indigenous people of Turkey, have an estimated population of 50,000 to 70,000, down, down from more than 1 million to 2 million Armenians in the year 1914. You know, so this is, um, they have been, uh, reduced, you know, by like 95%-ish with the low estimate, you know, maybe, you know, maybe a lot more than that, um, so, like it's it was it was, it was different than the experience of of uh, you know in in Rwanda like the Tutsis are still there, and like you know there's a a man who was a Tutsi who became the current president of Rwanda, and like in Turkey then that that whole pop like it like I, you almost don't want to say it succeeded but it succeeded um, that that they're all gone. Um, they've, they've, you know, become a diaspora from that part of, of Armenia, about 300,000 of them fled into what is now Armenia and, you know, into, into, uh, Russian Armenia at the time. So that, that was the first barrier. Second barrier was, was, uh, that, you know, what happened right afterwards was that they became part of the U.S. or the, you know, the, the Armenian population that was, uh, that was still extant, you know, the, the population in the diaspora, they were just trying to survive. And then the population in Russia who knew what happened, um, they became very shortly part of the USSR and it was banned in the USSR. You were not allowed to talk about national concerns, um, in, you know, as, as a Soviet, as a Soviet people, you know, so you're not allowed to talk about things that are related to what your, former nationality or you know like like your, your your people as defined not as the soviet people you know uh not allowed to talk about any concerns any history anything like that so there's a population of people in armenia you know current you know the 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 place that is currently armenia there's a population who knew exactly what happened who were not allowed to talk about it for like you know about 50 years or about 50 years uh they were just not allowed to say anything about it and you know, like if we think about the Holocaust and we think about how much important work was was done to, you know, with, with survivors telling their stories and stuff like that, how much of that stuff happened in the 50 years after the Holocaust, uh, you know, after the Jewish Holocaust? Um, and with the Armenian Holocaust, then they were deprived of that opportunity. And then the other big barrier is, is, is that kind of on the world stage, then uh, there's, you know, there's the big denier uh, who's been shutting down any talk about it. You know, Turkey still has not has not acknowledged what happened. Um, you know, they've they they they've refused to admit that it was a genocide, um, and they've you know because Turkey is a big ally to a lot of nations. You know, like you know you probably saw in the news that United States only like in the last couple months uh, officially admitted that it was a genocide. You know, officially labeled it as a, as a as a genocide, and and like, you know, everyone knew what it was. You know, but but it's because of political pressure. It's a similar thing going on with China with with the Uyghurs, and like it's it's unfortunately it's 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 because of I don't know. The, the, this is this is just speculation, but like it really does seem to be like a a ripple effect of how Turkey handled their genocide. It's, it's, it's caused a lot of problems, you know, I, like it, it, it's, um, uh, there's, there's a lot to say that the, the Jewish Holocaust would not have happened if, um, if Turkey had not been basically allowed to, to get off scot-free, you know, from, from their, gen from, from their genocide. And you look at the, the, the way that, that, uh, that China is, is, uh, handling their situation now and they are using like not even the same tactics but like like even the same language as as the Turks. they're calling it a you know an, an internal issue you know and and uh you know they're they're um they're having the the the, the goal to just have you know evidence presented to them 
and they will just refuse to acknowledge any part of it. You know, this is, it, it really is mirroring, you know, kind of, kind of what the Turks did. But like, that's, you know, that's, that's part of what's, what's made this so hard. You know, it's, it's, uh, um, most, most history than, than you, you, you can learn about. And even if there are impediments to learning about it, then, then there's not, you know, there, there's not this many, and there's not in this magnitude of, of, of challenges in, in, in the way of learning about something. Yeah. You know, so that, 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 that experience itself has actually been, um, you know, that's, that's, that, that's been valuable. It's been sad. It's been really sad, you know, but, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, I, I think it is part of the education. Um, you know, in terms of kind of the long-term effects, you know, it's hard to, um, it's hard to identify, but after having, so I, I, I made that, that video about the, um, about my first impressions and like kind of my ongoing impression of, of Armenia is that in terms of its history, it does seem like, like there is a feel of this place that has had a lot taken from it. Um, and you know the genocide is is definitely a huge part of that, and like it's it, it's kind of just this thing that they live with, and they 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 live with knowing that not the whole you know, that the whole world, you know, has not recognized it, and like they're not going to really get justice for it, and like that's kind of just a, that, that that's a fact of Armenian history now, that this is kind of just this thing that happened to them that they're not going to you know, that that people are not going to do right by them you know, um, with what happened, but like more visibly like the first thing that I noticed when I got here, um, you know, I, I posted a video of this too. You fly into Yerevan and you see out the window and you see in the streets and you see from your, from your window, you see this giant mountain, you see Mount Ararat. And it is like the national symbol of Armenia, you know, and, and like they're, they're, um, uh, you know, you see the image of it everywhere. Um, you see, uh, you know, they're, they have a, a giant, um, I think it's a, a Russian theater or something like that, which is the, the, the building is shaped, you know, to, to, you know, in, in, in the shape of the mountain, like in the shape of the mountain on the horizon. Um, and they, you know, so they, they, they love this mountain and you can see it, it is gigantic in the sky, you know, like for, for my, my Seattle friends. Um, I think it is around the size of Mount Rainier, but it's like three times bigger than Mount Rainier in in the sky. Like in terms of how 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 close it is, um, like it, it just takes up the entire sky. And it's not in Armenia; it's in Turkey. Uh, you know, it's it's in Western Armenia, and it was something that was taken from them, and it was like their most like beloved national icon. And uh, they have to see it every day across the border, which is closed. You know, they're it's it's, it's across the border, in the land of, of of their oppressor you know and it's 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 like being dangled in front of them um you know the, the, this is more recent but like um you know the 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 region that was fought over in nagorno karabakh um that was uh you know in in the the war i think it was last year um you know this is very very recent you know um and this is a war with azerbaijan and azerbaijan uh uh, ended up taking this this region back. Um, it had been an area of dispute, but you know they now it's it's in the hands of of the Azeris. And like this was like a beloved part of Armenia, also like like this was like their 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 favorite region. And uh, like it was sad hearing them talk about it. Like it was sad hearing people just say like like yeah like you know we just have to accept the fact that like it doesn't belong to us anymore. Um, and like this, this conflict with Armenia, like it, it, it uh, or sorry, with with Azerbaijan, like it, it's, it seems like it, the the whole thing is part of the same, uh, or at least a similar conflict as, as uh, what caused the genocide. You know, the, the like the whole, the, their whole history has been that like, okay, they were the first Christians, their first first Christian nation, they accepted Christianity, and then everyone else around them became Muslim, and like that's you know they've they, they've had to deal with you know with with the uh, uh, with the consequences of just being like this isolated uh, Christian kingdom, you know, this isolated Christian nation, you know, really, really far away from any country friendly to to, to Christianity. So, um, you know, the, the 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 war with Azerbaijan, it was all about. Uh, um, seems like it was all about uniting the the 
Caucasian Muslims with the with the, the, the Turkish Muslims. That's kind of been the the, the the goal there. And Armenians are just in the way. You know, that's 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 kind of how their their neighboring countries have thought of them. That they're this people who are not Muslim and because they're not Muslim then they're just in the way. You know, so like like it's 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 you know, experiencing it now, you know, when, when uh you know there's there's no war right now and like things are um you know things are calmed down and like it's 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 just like this kind of somber uh it's just kind of the somber experience, you know. Um and uh and yeah, I mean that's that's kind of that that that's kind of been my experience here, that it's it's uh in, in terms of the educational experience something that was just hard to learn about in terms of my experience of this place, you know, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of, it's chugging along, you know, like it's, they, they are very proud people. Um, they've had a tough history and it just feels like no one is really helping them. No one is really standing out from, you know, uh, you know, this is sticking out for them and that, you know, that's, that's, that's made it kind of somber, but it's, you know, that, that 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 that's been my experience here. This is the uh, view from the top of the cascade. It's a really pretty view, and you can see a lot of the city from here. Uh, over there, that's the giant statue of Mother Armenia. It used to be a statue of Stalin, but now it is statue of their their protector like uh and then over there or not, over there yeah that's uh that's the genocide memorial uh that's a sports complex i believe and down there towards the uh the base of the cascade that's the uh catchatory napa hall but yeah really nice view of the city from here